Boka Johan, Satsugu Sama Shumama Bili, Naya. We find our text in John 21. Come on, spit no son. I guess, Kuleg. Here on spit no that he on Sarte Ure en Ue Sal Opmak, and Gosi Sal can sin Ure en Verstan. Ngosi says here, Kalugoti, we willing to see you here to Namelo, Nezin Lebeze to Guze, sick on the Loku Okulumayo. To reach to the very depths of our hearts. That you would reach the uttermost parts by your grace. Amen. Amen. From John 21. From verse 1, I will read quite a few verses, even though I'm not going to comment on all of them. After these things, Jesus manifested himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias, and he manifested himself in this way. They were together Simon Peter and Thomas called Didymus and Nathaniel of Canaan and Galilee and the sons of Zebedee and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter watigubo ngiyakodoba bathikuye nathi sihamba nawe wasebephuma bangena emkhunjini kepha ngalobo busuku abahambanga ababambanga lutho. Simon Peter said to them I'm going fishing. They said to him, We will also come with you. They went out and got into the boat, and that night they caught nothing. But when the day was now breaking, Jesus stood on the beach, yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus therefore said to them, Children, you do not have any fish, do you? They answered him, No. And he said to them, Cast the net on the right-hand side of the boat, and you will find a catch. They cast therefore, and then they were not able to haul it in because of the great number of fish. That disciple, therefore, whom Jesus loved, said to Peter, It is the Lord. And so when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put his outer garment on, for he was stripped for work, and threw himself into the sea. But the other disciples came in the little boat, for they were not far from the land, but about 100 yards away, dragging the net full of fish. And so when they got out upon the land, they saw a charcoal fire already laid, and fish placed on it, and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish which you have now caught. Jesus 
Simon Peter went up and drew the net to land full of large fish, 153, and although there were so many, the net was not torn. Uchis watigubo wazani niche kepa agwabako kwa kubafundi o waba nesibi ndi sogumbuza nguguti ungubani wenana. Jesus said to them, come and have breakfast. None of the disciples ventured to question him, who are you, knowing that it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave them, and the fish likewise. This is now the third time that Jesus was manifested to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. So when they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my lambs. He said to him again a second time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said, he said to him, Shepherd my sheep. And he said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he had said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, tend my sheep. Truly, truly, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to gird yourself and walk wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will gird you and bring you where you do not wish to go. Now this he said, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he said to him, follow me. Let's read thus far. There is a text, a word that hasn't left me these days. And as I read the story, it returned to me yet again. In the Old Testament, 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 God commands his people to teach their children about what they had experienced in Egypt and the redemption, the, how they were released and got through the River Jordan, and the story of God's redemption so that the children would grow up knowing. Trump is not 10 years, not 15, not 20, not 30. Azazo kwenzege ekalini. Zikula nesi manje manje. We parents often assume that the children know. But you'll find a child gets to 10, even 20 or 30, and they don't know the things that we assume that they should know. Nga koge unkulu unkulu, gomos, kulu umekubazani. Sometimes 
So God, through his servant Moses, said to the people of God, command them to tell the redemption story, what it was like, how they got through and, and escaped from Pharaoh, all that, that your children would know how you were saved. We must teach our children. They should be taught, as the Bible says, in the home. In, they are words of the Lord everywhere. As you go out in the garden, as you go outside for a walk, in all places that the name of the Lord should be known. Otherwise, your children grow up on the way to hell. They don't know how you were saved. They don't know how the Lord set you free from the lust of the flesh. They grow up ignorant. Teach them what life you lived in Egypt. Teach them how the Lord set you free. How he set you free from your anger. How he set you free from your bitterness and grudges. How he set you free from loving the world. How he saved you from the lusts of the flesh. That's why they still get angry. They sin. Because they don't know the way out. You haven't told them. Of course it would be a tragedy if you can't tell them. If you still sit in those sins, you still get angry. You still get uh, have resentment in your life. Well, you're a blind leading the blind, and you can expect that all of you will end in the bottomless pit unless God has got mercy on you and you repent. Uba fundi suguti unkulunkulu wa kulula ganjan o lagen luako na guo amakubu ako. No baba gwenzi zio. Gonke loku uba fundise. Napanji kwa loku bazo pila gulezi zono. Mshambe gotwa wena aguga kululegi. Aguga kululegi gulezi zono. Iku uti nonke nisen lelen emgotin onge na mkaulo. Ngako kengi atanda. Ginga kakazi izwi. Ngitokele. Ezinye ezingane zamzila. Nani mkona, ngifu nukuba nasi, ungutu loku mkulunkulu akwenzi legi imu. And that is why I'd like to share with you, before I comment on these different verses, share with you what the Lord did for me. Some of my children are here, and I want to explain to them, to you, what the Lord did in my life. Just share with you some of my past. Ngikumbula... I remember God calling me. I was from a very loving family where we all got along well. We were in great harmony together, worked together very well. My father helped in guiding towards careers, so when the oldest child had grown up, he showed how to find a career, and it was in... Um, selling or in trade stores and that he, then the second child, the third child in different directions and we would stand together no matter what. And then the Lord Jesus came and said to me, Erlo, I want you to preach the gospel. It was terribly hard for me. But eventually I agreed and said, Yes, Lord. Go 1951. Bekonum Sangan. A cup maiden. 
Le Mubalanga Nam Sanche, Eastern Transvaal. And in 1951, there was a certain meeting up there in what is known as Mpumalanga province, then the eastern province, eastern Transvaal, and in Cap Modern there was that convention. And our minister said that he's going there and whether I'd like to accompany him, I said yes. Because I shared with him about what I had felt. And so off we went. There were many people, there were tents, uh, the tents were pitched and we slept in tents. And there was a certain man, his name was Lori Vit. 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 Manje he hadn't been a Christian. And he started a business there. Mpumalanga is very fertile for growing things. You plant tomatoes or cabbage, anything, and it grows fantastically. Uma esekalopulima, achalu tomatisu, tomatisi, u. And so his crop of tomatoes which he had planted was really enormous and he filled lorries. Everything he planted was successful and money poured in. He became a rich man. And but then he became anxious about his riches, remembering the word of the Lord where it says, it is difficult for a rich man to enter into heaven. It is impossible. It's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to go to heaven. He said, I'm rich. I'm on the way to hell. And he got such a fear. He says, I'm damned and doomed with my riches. He said, I must seek the kingdom of God. I must repent. I must get right with God. Otherwise... This will lead me to hell. Wasaba gakul wati ngimelwe upenduga goba lenzela ngi guyona izon kholela eskhokweni. Nangepelwa pendu. And indeed he repented. Waba umtwana kankulunkulu. Became a child of the Lord. Uma isa umtwana kankulunkulu. Wathi angwazi umhlale ngidli mali yami ngizoqhuba ivangeli. And as a child of God, he said, I can't just sit here enjoying my wealth. I must use it to further the gospel. And so he invited people to come and hold a convention yearly on his farm. He said at no expense I will arrange the, the tent and the food, all of that it will be my own expense. And so in 1951 we went to his place. And in 1951 Do you young people know that in 1951 we went there? If you remember that, put up your hands. I asking the young people. I'm, I'm just 
probing a little, just che checking, because you might say that you were born in 1971, if you're a young person, and just to see whether you lie. I just it. wanted to see whether there's some liars amongst the young people. They, they all seem to be honest. Singati bakoto boonke. Aige? Uma sasfiga kona kshonyo maten. Now we got there, the tents were pitched. There were young men busy pitching the tent as I looked on. They were rough men. And they would answer each other in a very rough way. And and I noticed that they would get upset with each other easy, and in passing a hammer, they wouldn't just pass it, they'd throw it. Speaking together in an unkind way. And I said to myself, these people still need to get saved. That night we went into the tent and there were at least uh, 600 white people there. Salipans. We sat down and the, the chorus leaders came. How? 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 As I looked at those who were the chorus leaders, I was confused. I thought, are they the same men who pitched the tent earlier on? Those who were getting angry and losing their tempers? It can't be. And it was them. I was disappointed. Then it was announced that before the preacher comes, there's going to, uh, there are going to be people giving their testimonies. Who are they who gave their testimonies? The very same people who are pitching the tent. I lost my respect for them. But, oh. I said to myself, such a thing I do not know. I was young myself. And I was still immature and didn't know much, but I did know that there was, this wasn't right, that the same people who were getting angry and that were the ones singing and giving their testimonies. And so you make sure, you person, if you lead in some way, maybe you, you lead in singing, that your life, remember, it's observed by others, witnessed by others around you. I didn't listen to them. God, we are born to Pilaranjan. Umunga Piliga, Tunga Manga, Luma, Enga Gunagi, Enga Tati, Notisi, Guloko Shoyo. Uma Unga Pili, Impilo, Enguele. You see, you husband, you demand respect from your wife, but don't be surprised if she doesn't take notice of who you are, doesn't respect you, because she observes how you are and how you are not alive spiritually and the, the life you live. And with women, vice versa. This is Nagubo. Man and fro, fro and man, and kinders. As ye for all a prick. Let up. We live in. As ye live in ye heiliges. Stop. Die back. On stoitzer says so. This near Monty. This is a back. Van den Eersel of het hond.
Samo u šumajezi in koskaz. No mi in koskaz je šumajez in do te jake. No ma abantuana. No ma ban o leti vangeli. Gudin uti, gukon uti, baja paula. Uma unga pili in pilo enche. Job kristu. No nu guti u valum lomo wako. Zulu su glokala. E kapeden. Zulu su glespili. U su glestat. Ajaj kona. Minang pindele mu veka em balani e natali. The first day, the second day, the third day passed there at Cap Moden till I said to myself, well, I'm just going to go back home to our home in Mbalana. I'd rather be a farmer. Dali mali. Make money. Besan kubi vangeli ngalo kunaba fundi sibanga figa ba vagashele ba pumule kwa mekai. And I'll propagate the gospel with money. I'll allow missionaries and them to come to our home and we'll assist. Let them do the work. But that I should go, no, never. But the pastor with whom the pastor with whom I was with was a very wise man. And uh, he had he was nicknamed Mapiga. He he Mapiga, sorry. Mapiga. He was the father of uh, people like the one the manager of our shop here. <laughs> As I tried to explain to him what I had made my mind up to do, he wisely pointed out that I was being double-minded. And he said, didn't you say this just the other day? Now you're saying something new. You've got to make up your mind. You can't speak two things. Otherwise, you are mentally deranged. Schizophrenic. Schizophrenic. Troubled are such people who cannot stand solidly on one thing. On one day they make a certain claim, the next day it's a different one. Now, there every morning one went off to a prayer meeting. But I decided I'm not going to the prayer meeting. I'm, I'm going to go with my Bible and go and pray on the other side of a little hill that was off on one side. I sat down there on a rock. I said, oh God, I want to go back home. Not, and I don't want to preach the gospel. And I laid out before God all my conditions. I said, Lord, I will certainly support the work of the Lord. And if there are missionaries who need a rest, they can come by me there and I will support the work financially. And I Kotwa manje nali izwi esengil tolile. 
I continued to say, Lord, and I want your seal of approval upon this plan of mine, and I need you to say something because then it will justify my going to my pastor and saying, The Lord has said I should go back home. God said to Abraham, Slaughter your child, kill him, put him on the, uh, bring him as a sacrifice. And when God said, saw that he was willing to do it, God said, held his hand, the angel, and said, don't kill him. I've seen that you are going to do it. Here's the lamb. Angiti unkulunkulu wati go Abraham, shabindo tanayako, kotwa lapunkulunkul ese paulu guti, uya voma, wam vemba, ese zom shabu isak, Wati Musa Nali Wunju. And uh, so God has seen that I was prepared to become a, mission, a preacher. And now he says, All right, I've seen. You can go home. You needn't do it anymore. Nangeti Momfanagiso Onja Luguti. Non kulunkuluam uyabonuguti nenti zio. And uh, then I'll go to my minister and I say, I was, I was prepared to be a missionary. But now I got a word. And God says, I can go home. Now that's foolproof. What will this clever preacher say now? And he's can't say anything against it. That's foolproof. If God speaks to you, what can we do? But obey. But Vatik may date the Bible, mark the two up, and befell up the Elias. Ngali tati pipe lam les jaleman, ngali phone, ngali vula, ngali phone. And then there was a word that just stood out. You know, in our Lutheran Bibles, we've got some verses that are printed. Bigger, with bigger letters than the others. So this verse just stood out. I just saw that verse. Afterwards I looked in my Bible and they went in capital letters, just as the others. But God just did it to arrest my attention, to catch my attention to that word. Konalako. Lalikona izwi elakama pamigwa mechlo ami get pipe lesi chaleman akoninda zikonis in dao lapo gupalwe ngama letters ngama kama bonagala gangono kotwa endo gogufunda lelozwi ngabuya ngali funa nangali tolu gushkuti unkulunkulu wanka misela uguzengi bonagase lelizwi well I started reading Nafunda. Nafunda Matthew 4 verse 19. I read Matthew 4 verse 19. Why is it go bong landele ningyagunenza nibenga batu bibaban? then said, Follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. It was as if the lightning from heaven had struck me. I closed the Bible. It was only by God's grace that I didn't discard the Bible altogether. I got angry. 
When you're at a dead end and you can't go further, the only way is to get angry. Uma usufigil ekrine and gwendela ing aikindao yo puma unga tugu challenge. And those that use alcohol, that's the time they go to the pub and go to the bottle like a little child when it cries, it wants the bottle. Kwabanye uma sebe tugu tele banje baye e polelen. I said, Lord, I'll show you. I won't do it. Nothing goes. Ngizo kumbi suguti ngege ngege ni kwenye look. Naya kumfundi swam. I went to my pastor. Ngati baba. Ngiahamba. Ngiakaya. I said, Pastor, I'm going back home to Natal. I kept quiet for a very, he kept quiet for a very long time and then asked me, Elo, he said in a quiet voice, are you sure that this is the will of God for you? I said, I blurted out, yes. Indeed, even children of God can lie. And I lied. I packed my suitcase. I went to I went off. Went off to Pretoria, took a train to Peter Maritzburg, phoning on the way that they should fetch me the following morning at Peter Maritzburg Station. I had said, God, no, I will not do it. Because what you say is in contradiction to what I feel and my own plans and ambitions. The next morning I got off at the station in Maritzburg. And there was my brother, Mr. Elena, 49. Uncle Heino from Tunzini, and I, we got along well. We were very used to each other. And and so he greeted me warmly and said oh how great is God's love to bring you safely back home again but he didn't know that it wasn't God's love it was because I had become a Jonah a Jonah who, who had been sent to Nineveh but who had gone off to his own place to Joppa the love story can go very far even here in South Africa, when a man loves another man, or a woman another woman, it's not bad. It's an act of love. But a dirty love. Africa, <laughs> And now you find the situation where a son will arrive home and say, Parents, here is my wife, but it's another man. Now how will you feel? Father, mother, here your son comes along. Mom, here's your daughter-in-law. Uzozwa ganja ni lenda ba uma indota ni figure iti nangu makot kanti indota. Roma one iti ba pambana no guemvelo. 
In Romans 1 it says they go against what is natural. Okay. Figakaya. And so I arrived home. Kante la punsuka. Nate la bagit. Ugutum kunungulum bizid. Sangya kamuk. Ekai. Now, when I had left home to go up to that convention, I told them that the Lord has uh, called me to go there, and here I was arriving back again. I, umangi sekaya, umama watula, 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 geli ni langa seli e poch, e vlande, e valwang englas. What ya umtanam? Uti ni ngo ngo bizolwa. My mother didn't utter a word. And after some days out there on the porch in the morning, the enclosed veranda, she asked me, uh, what do you say about your calling? His How? What? Mom, I replied in a way that I'm now ashamed of. I said to her, look, mom, if you don't want me here, just say so. And I went off in a huff and slammed the door behind me. Said, if you don't want me here, tell me, then I'll go. Uh, young people can be cheeky. Abasha, Bangava, no shake. If it would have been a man, he should have kicked me that I flew out of the door. Uma, Maybe I'd good, I've got to my senses. Uma, Uma, why in daughter? Ubezo on Kashel, Mshame Bengs or Papa. And then for 18 months, I went through hell. Envoa Loku, Guaba is in Yanga, as he showed me Nesia Galombili, Nan Genes Hokwin. I would hear noise. And I'd say, oh, is it judgment day? Have I got to appear before the throne of Christ? I went through hell. That's when I learned that to be disobedient costs thousands of times, ten thousands of times more than being obedient. Now, as um sindunje, Naba no valo gutim shambe, segu sugu logwa shulel, no ma igupi netuga. Ilapo geng afundu guti uguna la leli gubeza izin kulungwa nzenani guno guti ula lelenge. I feared the day when I would have to stand before God on Judgment Day. Nalo sabu sugu lapo ngidingu guti ngime pambi gua kungulungulu ngogo shulelo. I look at the clouds. Say what if suddenly a cloud comes and he stands on there and that the last trumpet will sound? What will happen to me? Ngawa buga mafu, akabanguti uma esefigu chesu, nefu, segu sugu lokrina, ga zuguti gizotrinapi. To stand before the judgment seat of Christ, it's good if we remember it. Uguma, Pami Gwestalo, Siga Christo, Gufane Luguti, Sikumbole Lok. He'll judge all our works. Uzo He'll have to give account of every idle word we have spoken. He'll even judge our thoughts. Uzo Shulela, Imsebenzietu, Gisho Nemtabango, Gisho Nezi Zinjo, Zentli Zio. We are five boys in the family. The, small, the youngest one is a girl. When she was still small, I was alone with her at home. The rest of the family had gone. I could show you the place where we stood outside. I said, Yemgat, you know. Jesus is going to come again and he's going to judge us. Nati, Yemgat, Ikamalot Tatuet, Uchesu Uzobuya, Futi Uzo Sulela. 
She started trembling, shaking. She started crying. I couldn't stop her crying. I didn't know how to help her. So I said, sister, I've just told you a lie. He's not coming. Was, <laughs> was the only way to comfort her. If I see her the next time, I must ask her whether I have apologized to her that I told her that lie. Most probably, I've made right with her. But I want to make double sure. If I haven't confessed to her that I told her a lie, I said, I'm doing it now, I'm repenting of it, forgive me. He's coming. And then to make it clear what a day that will be. That one day will be more than 10,000 years. And hotter than any, any oven can be. After 18 months, I went into my bedroom and I knelt by my bed. I somehow felt I've got to draw close to God. I opened the Bible kneeling at my bed and I read and I read that God was still loving me. I've made him sick and tired with my sins. But he's still loving me. My hardened and hard heart just melted. And I began to cry and to weep. I said, God, I showed you my fist in your face. I went against you. I rebelled. And you still love me. My heart melted. I think it was the next day or after three days. I went into my bedroom again. I knelt down on my knees next to the bed. I said, God, please speak to me. I just opened the Bible at random. And, and this is what I read. This uh, John 21. John 21. Simon Uyang Tanda na. Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Just a few days prior to that. He showed me his love. And when, when we see that, we can't but love him. We, we love him because he first loved us. Simon Gatona Uyang Tandan Kunalaba na Maja Kwaba Nati Uje Su Use Kamelwe Upam Gwam Engbuzo Guti El Uyangitanda Na 
Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than these? It was as if though Jesus Christ himself was right there in the room asking me this question. Peter said, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Then he said, tend my lambs. And then the second time he asked him, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? For me, it wasn't like just a text or a question asked of Peter. For me, it was directly aimed at myself. Then tend my sheep, shepherd my sheep. And he said to him the third time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? And Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And I too at that point, I grieved. I stood up. I went to the kitchen. Found my mom. Standing at the stove, at the pots, she was cooking. I said, Mother, Jesus has called me. I have no other choice. I have agreed to do His will. She said, I'm glad, my child. I went out looking for my dad. I was afraid. I was scared because we did have a fear of my dad. I was scared what he might say. I found him on the yard. I said, Father, I have something on my heart. I feel that the Lord has called me to follow him and preach the gospel. I received a reply which was totally unexpected. He said, Olo, I am grateful. I will have a child in, among my children who will always carry me in prayer. You will always pray for me and you will always remember me. I am thankful and I agree. I was astonished. Some parents get upset if a child says to them, I feel that the Lord's called me to work for him. And they start asking questions like, well, how will you survive? Uh, look at all the things you've got to leave. But I'm grateful that both my parents said, we agree and we are grateful. A certain Afrikaans girl from our country of South Africa, uh, who was 18 years at the time, went to a meeting, a, a service, came back at night, touched by the Lord, went to, a, went to her parents' bedroom, she knocked, I said, come in, and as she entered in, and her father was a very rich and renowned man. They had only this one child. Troubled are parents who don't have children. 
there are some people that haven't got a child, but not of their own choosing. We feel with them. Kotabanye, I got a bazi ketele ganje. There are some others that don't want a child. Some have only got one child. They can't have more. And some rich people can't afford it. It's always a strange thing that the poor people have many children and the rich few. But this rich man had just one child. And I feel that God has called me to China as a missionary. We thought, the father said, no, definitely not. What will happen to your inheritance? I've got no other child, I've got no boy. Look, my child, you're going to inherit all the farms, everything that I've got. You can't go to China and be a missionary there. And he said, I won't say yes. The girl stayed at home, obeyed her father. After two years, she got very ill, and she died. In Tomazan, Yalalela i Uise, got her Emva Gwemnyag and Bilinje, Yakula in Tomazan, Yafa. It was twenty years old. Imnyaga Enga Mashuma Mabilinje. When the coffin went down into the grave, suddenly, he says, Oh God, if I would have said yes, this daughter of mine would be alive far away in China, but I would still have a daughter. But I said no. And now you've taken her, and I've got no person. For my inheritance. Lisesha ipogisi lake, uise wama ekala etunen elibugi ipogis. Wasi jeluguti, uma gate navuma nati yebo kungulungul, nangizoba in dota gaze pilayo eshaina koto manje angisena muntu. This is a true story. In the happened here in South Africa. Eyenze gilim ela la eningizimi Africa. To be disobedient costs much, much more than to be obedient. And he who wants to save his life will lose it. After I told my parents, brothers, family, the God opened the door. And I could go. Emva Goguti, Gibachela Bazali, no Nabafuetu, no Tate, Unculunculua, Vula, Imsango, Naguazuting Hamble. I said to my brother Haino, Haino, as I walk out of this house, my father's house, it's like this, as if I'm in a coffin. I've got to die. But because of the love to Jesus, I do it gladly. Nati gumfue to Uhino, mfue to Njungoba Sengia Shia, Ikegele Kaya, Nipuma Emma Sanguin, Gubesingati Ningafa, 
kodwa ngimelwe ukuthi ngilalele intando kaNkulunkulu Now let's get back to the text Age sibuyele ebhayibhileni Jesus asked Peter Simon son of Jonah Now his name was Peter Jesus gave him that name Simon son of Jonah was his name before Jesus named him Peter Manje ke la sesifundile ukuthi Jesu wambuza u Simon ukuthi uyangithanda Simon na kuna lezi lezi zinto Paulo ukuthi akashonga ukuthi Petru uyangithanda ngoba ube semqambile ukuthi u Petru u Simon lale igama lakhe alidala Do you love me uyangithanda na At that time when I read it I didn't know what the Greek text said Kuleso sikhathi ngisafunda lokho ngangingazi ukuthi ibhayibhe lesi Greek lithini We in our uh, translations we just read uh, Simon do you love me Jesus said literally Simon son of Jonah do you agape me do you love me as god loves with a godly love ngoba ngolimi lwakhona ujesu empeleni ngesigrik ubebuza usimon indodana ka john ukuthi uyangithanda nge agape kusho ukuthi igama lesigrik uchaza ukuthi uthando luka nkulunkulu uyangithanda ngothando luka nkulunkulu na he said yes lord you know everything wapendula wathi inkosi uyakwazi konke it's good for us to know that jesus knows everything but a man or a woman who isn't in right standing with god it's a fearful thing to hear he knows everything and he will run away from it but the person who walks with god it's a comfort that god knows everything Kuhle uqonda ukuthi uNkulunkulu uqonda konke uyazazi zonke izinto kulo ongaphili osezonweni kuyinto esisabekayo kodwa kumuntu ophilayo kuyinto eduduzayo We have learned that there's nothing hid from his eyes Siyabonga ukuthi akukho okufihlekele emehlweni akhe He sees everything Uyabona konke Uyasetuduza Allow can give room to the devil and sin. It's a terrible thing. We'll cover it. Kodwa uma simnika usathana indawo singenisa izono kuyinto esisabekayo futhi sizofihla leyo nto. And then Simon Peter said, "Lord, you know everything. You know that I feel o you." U Petru lapho esemphendula wathi ngolimi lwakhona ukuthi yebo nkosi uyazi ukuthi ngiyakufilelo fileyo two different words amagama ahlukene peter said you know everything you know that i feel o you jesus asked him do you agape me do you love me with a godly love and fileo Peter says you know that i love you as a friend loves his friend kusho ukuthi ujesu lapho esembuza ngothando ube chaza uthando luka nkulunkulu ngalelo gama ukuthi agape kodwa uphethu uma sephendula wasebenzisa elinye igama lefileo elichaza ukuthi uthando lobungane nje you know that i love you as the way a child a brother loves his brother jengokuba umfowethu uzothanda umfo wabo he said and feed my lamb uh, my lambs what to jesus then he said the second time peter do you agape me wapinda u jesus wathi uyangithanda na nge agape na he says lord you know everything you know that i feel you that i love you as a friend loves his friend u petru wapendula wathi jesus uyaqonda ukuthi ngiyakuthanda nje ngothando lobungane but the third time 
Jesus came down to his level and said, Peter, oh, Simon, do you phileo me? And Peter was heartbroken that he should say, phileo me. Mogwes tatu u Jesu wa sebenzisa igama liga Petru wati uyang feleo Pet, uh, Simona watu Petru kulesos um, kat wat tabuga uma sezo u Jesu sebenzisa lelo kama. He couldn't say I love you with a divine love. He had just denied his Lord three times before the cock is crowed. Wanga kwa zoguti avuma ngekini zoguti ngiaktanda ngoluga nkulunku lungoba ube sandu gumpigu Jesu angiti wampiga ikote la kala gatatu. And he was heartbroken because what? Jesus the third time used the word he used came down from that level, that godly level, to that of a friend, of just a brother. And said, Peter, uh, see, uh, Simon, do you love me? Phileo, do you phileo me? What tabuga u Simon ngeni ndlela lapho ese Paulu guti u Jesu u sehlile ngalelo gama. Wati kushuguti Petru, Simon, uyang tanda ngaleli ngalolu tando lobungani nje? I hope that you've got that straight. Ngia tembu guti Lento isia kondega guwe. Another point. Elini point. Simon Gatron, uyangitanda kuna labana. He said, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He didn't only say, do you love me? Do you love me more than these? Aga shongu gupelu guti, embozu guti, uyangitanda na now, there are a few points concerning that matter. They were seven. Seven disciples that went with Peter when he says, I'm going fishing. Six said, we're coming along. Nathaniel was there. Thomas is the one, Thomas, who's mentioned next to Peter. Peter and Thomas. You remember Thomas's experience. And now he was there before he wasn't. Alas is kati bebe abafundi aba is kombisa. Ekona no Thomas. Angiti u Thomas ubesenge nile guloku angiti u ifundi ile lendaba. Nampa abafundi aba is kombisa ngoba aba is tom aba is situpa bebe puma ganyi na upetro. They were seven there. It's nice when disciples of Jesus, when God's people are together, it's hell if they're not one. That's the work, dirty work of the devil to separate them. But when they're together, my, it's like that precious oil flowing down from the high priest, down his beard, his garment. That's a sweet perfume, sweet scent to God. Sese amfiku Thomas, e Paulo guti ugani na yu Petro, au kumnandi ganga gana nugu fika abantu ana barangu nuku lubenda wonye, bemunye, beno moya o watwa, ai ukshugana ugungabi guyo inda e yatoa ngenziyo. When one doesn't find fault with the other or criticize him. Uma em speaks behind his back. Engam Sabomunye e Kulumangaye and Vogom Sanwake. The worst kind of criminality. Ao Guinto Embi Gunakogonke. Worse than those criminals that kill people and steal cars, etc. Ugu Seba Ganja Gugubi Gu Neke Bengu Ezibula Labantu Zinjonji Moto. Because you kill them kill them spiritually. That's worth much more, worse, much more than just killing the body. Es genügt nicht zu sagen, du liebst ihn so viel, wie die anderen ihn lieben. 
Jesus sagt, liebst du mich mehr als diese? Mich lieben. Jesus, in anderen Worten, hey, verwacht mir von you als von den anderen. Verstehe ich das? doesn't help to say I love him similarly to the others. Jesus wants you to love him more than the others. Aksizuguti utandoluaka lufanenje nabanye no luga abanye gotwa lube na pezulu wabanye. Jesus was speaking to Simon, Peter, the man who said the others can deny you, I won't. You can expect that of them, but not from me. I lay my, lay my life down for you. He looked down on the others. But he failed miserably, just as the others. Maybe more than the others. But Jesus, you be kulum no Petru. He wo lo wo, o wat in course. No ma abanye bangak fulatel, mina ngege. Ngege ngik pige, jinga laba. Goba eba bugela pansi. Uchesu ube kuluma na lowo. Now listen to this. I want you to get this straight. Konda loku gemanj. When you remain on the right path, Uma you window. know more about your own sin than the sin of others. Uh. You will see your own sin. Deidlicher als die Sondes von anderen Menschen. You'll be kept busy more with your own sin than the, than the sin of your colleagues. Verstehen? Uma ungu muntu okoto uzoba neskati se se zono zako aiguti utritiskati Ngezono zabanye. Uzo paula ezako. Gune zabanye. You keep yourself busy with a bunch of hypocrites. And hypocrites they may be. But no one thing. In God's eyes. You regret the sinner than what they are. And, And then you say well. What shall I do? What shall I say? Look what they are. Do you compare yourself with others? He says more. Do you love me more than those love me? And you are guilty in the sight of God if you don't love him more than what the others do. Mshambu tritis kati sako ngoka banga ngezono zabo. Mshambu kuikini suguti banga ba zenzisi. Kwa tuwa utritela anis kati sako. Uchesu ufunuguti utando luako Lube olukulu guna ngoloabo. And if the whole world is wrong, God expects from you, Jesus expects from you, more than he does from the others. Do you love him more? Noma betu, betu gile bonke, izwe lonke, li senda wen elinga fanel, uchesu ulinde luguti gube wena, One person said, do you love me more than these? And he pointed to the fish. Do you love me more than you love the fish? Do you love me more than you love the fishing? Do you love me more than sport? Do you love me more than silver and gold? Riches? Money? Do you love me more? Omunye e kaza lawa ma ves, wati kunga kaza futu guti uchesu e ubembuzu guti uya tanda mina uchesu gu ne mali, gu no doba, gu ne nchanzi, gu ne spots, gu ne zinto zomshaba nezwe. Do you love me more than you love your work, your ambition, your goals? Do you love me more? What kind of a life must that be? If you agape, not phileo, agape him more than the others. 
and you don't you won't judge the others you love them as well we am tando jesu gu nezinto ezinye gu no tando lwabo ngo tando lwe akape ngo luka nkulunkulu futhi ngeke ubazonde abanye abadukile uzoba no tando ngabo you love them as god loved us who gave his only son he didn't criticize us he didn't find fault with us uthando luka nkulunkulu the best he had for us now the question are you doing that i would like you to leave this place with this question and answer if you do i call you a pharisee oluka nkulunkulu luya bathanda abanye alufuni amaphutha abo kodwa uNkulunkulu wabeka phansi impilo yendodana yakhe kazi ukuthi ugulokhu noma ungumfarisi na a new young girl you love me more than you love the boys when and to getting married having children i can tell you it's all nicht alles gold was glänzt you want to get married but when you married sometimes not your only your nose will be full you'll be full uh, i heard people saying these days blessed are those that didn't get married and bear children there are those as well so the best is to love him more he'll take care of you get the center right first things must come first and he'll add everything that you need kaze ukuthi wena ntombi uyamthanda uJesu kunabafana kune phupho lakho lokushada nokuthi ube nabantwana kukho konke sidingothi simbeke uJesu abe phakathi abuse phezu kwakho konke and peter grew in this love u petru wakhula kulolu thando and jesus said now in closing peter when you are young young you dressed as you like oh dress can spiel i can can spiel you see i am mixing it with german play a big role in your life dress dress many women are like that and some men are women like as well Peter when you were young you got you dressed as you as you like you wore the clothes you liked but when you get old somebody else will dress you somebody else will take you by your hand you won't be able to go where you want to go somebody else will take your hand and lead you where you don't want to go that's the person who are gapes god wathi ku petru usemusha waziqokisa kodwa uma usuguga uzoqokiswa omunye omunye uzokuthatha ngesandla akhole iyo indlela yabantu bakaNkulunkulu ku ukumesaba uNkulunkulu ukumthanda kuhamba kanje then the things that were hard and difficult and impossible for us things we don't want we'll count as a privilege nezinto esingafuni nokumelana nentando yethu sizothatha lokho kube inhlandla yethu you won't say it, lord jesus i spent so many years for you i only got this so that it will be a privilege and jesus spoke about his death Peter was crucified on a cross but when they crucified him he said folk you can't crucify me the way you crucified Christ i'm not worthy of that crucify me with my head down and feet up because i'm not fit ek is dit nie waardig nie om gekruisig te word soos my Heer kruisig my met my kop 
nari ondrta. U Jesu wae kaza ugufa kuga Petru, futim pela wafa es pambanwen. Kotwa lapu Petru ese miso es pambanwen, wati kusu istugu. Bagit ungangi beteli ganje, angim fanel u Jesu guti ngim ngi betelo ganje u Jesu wam. Babega pan si kandalake wafa ganjalo. He honored Jesus. Why am so nipu Jesu? Jesus was precious to him. U Jesu wae kuku guyen. More than his own life. Gunem piloyak. Or his own pain. Noma izin tungu zak. Or discomfort. Noma uguzwa kugu bi em zimben. Matthew Henry says, you know when Jesus was in the boat, uh, the disciples, the seven disciples, Jesus stood at the shore. Such a pity that time is short. How wonderful if we could talk about that. He said, children, have you got any fish? No. Throw it on the right hand side, the net. They did it. 153 big fish. And John said, Peter, Peter, it's the Lord. When Peter heard that, he jumped into the water. He was a hundred yards away. Now, whether it was shallow or not, Peter, Peter, the Bible says, was naked. Now, in uh, biblical times, when a person had something on till here, but not on top, they said he was naked. So, it's not necessarily that he was stark naked. He could have a short, a bathing trunk on. But he was naked. And when he said, John said, it's the Lord. John had a sharper ear or eye than Peter. The others were covered by doubts and things. But John, this young man, he says, it's the Lord. Peter, what did he do? He put on his coat. And Matthew Henry says, he respected Jesus so much that he put on the best garment he had. Out of respect to be in the Lord's presence. He says a person will wear the best garment he has. When he approaches the presence of Jesus Christ, he could throw, have thrown it off. To swim with a garment makes it difficult. You throw it off. But he says, that's my Lord. And I want to appear before him the best way possible out of respect. That's my ear. And he didn't waste a moment when he was told it's the Lord. Shall I, shall I not? Is it too deep? Is it too shallow? He threw himself. He wanted to be there first. Oh, Peter, he was zealous. Peter was fiery. He wanted to be there first. Not because of jealousy, being proud. He must have loved his Lord. Omunye umkazi we pipe lu Henry, wati ese kaza ngalendao, uguti uma ujesu ese memez guti bantuana gukona enik bambile na ujohan wa sheshu paula gunabani guti gungu jesu. Uma ese sholoku upetru engunu, gotwa kuleso skati uma guti ugutu muntu engunu, waye nepeshu noma I am a short. I go to Ube Ube Ngambete Engunu Kongke. Kotwa Wafaga Loku Ogpambili Ena Kokona Lapo Gobu Muntu Emsoni Pujesu. Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than these? Simon Gachona Uyang Tanda Guna Labana. Didma, Friel. Johan, Peter, Naomi, Esther, you love me more 
than these? Kushuguti kulau makama, kushuguti kukonda ina nawe, uyang tanda kuna labana. Whatever the future has got in store for us, whatever we do, we can't afford trying to serve God and live for Him without this love. We'll make a mess of it. You'll be better six feet, two meters in the ground, under the ground, than alive without this love. So, the great thing is, not how many years you've suffered, how many years you've sweated. If you love me, if you agape me, more than these, more than your blue-eyed child, you love me more than these. Can I stop here? Is it plain to you or not? Asa zaguti unkulunkulu usbegen gulo iksasa letu. Goto asigwa zaguti singene gulo iksasa singenalo utando lolu ogu kulunya ngalo. Ujesu uyak boza wena guti uyam tanda guna laba. Gaza guti usiak onda gonke loku manje no ma singing ama. Let's pray. I guess Kuleg. Herr, lass dein Wort nicht leer an uns vorübergehen. Ngosi, Gwangati, Isri, Lako, Lingege, Lisfeke, Lingateli, Isitelo. Lord, let your return not return to you void, but that your word would return with fruit. May we not have gathered here and our coming here being in vain. Ngosi Gwangati Singege Siba Bantu Abashangene La Gotwa Guize Leze. May our lives never be the same again. Impelo Zetu Zingabui Zifane. May it not have gone in the one ear and out the other. Gungabe into Engene and Lebe in Gupuma Gwen. But may it penetrate penetrate deep, deep, deep down to the deepest depths of our being. For your name's sake and for your sake, Lord. Mach nur die Gnade von unser Herr Jesus Christus mit uns allmal wirst. Amen. Amen.